most of you would be thinking wasn't this is very easy so there is a function called clear all time out and we can use that to clear all time outs correct unfortunately there is nothing no function called clear all time out all welcome to uncommon geeks myself fasant i hope you all doing well so as you know this is a video series where we are discussing about uh, mang mang interview questions mang refers to meta slash facebook and apple amazon netflix and google the most common question that are asked in the front end uh, developer interview in these questions i'm going to discuss in this particular video series so it's highly beneficial if you are someone who targeting for this tier 1 companies they require you to prepare in a altogether different way the way have you prepare for a service company or a less paying product company and these companies is totally different so the questions they ask is also different so unfortunately i have not interviewed by meta so far I have gathered lot of interview questions from the interviewing platforms like Glassdoor and Quora and other stuffs, and I'll be discussing lot of such questions along with tagging the companies. Which company is has asked these questions in the recent past, and how to tackle it? Okay. So the first question in this series, um, in this particular video, is from the Facebook. Okay. The question is implement clear all timeout functionality. Okay. Uh, hope you all know what is clear timeout. Basically, it will use to clear the timeouts that whatever has been created in the past. So whenever you do a set timeout, uh, the return value of a set timeout is an integer. So that can be used as a passed as an argument to clear the timeouts. So here the question is, you have to clear all the timeouts that is present in a component. Okay. So most of you know why clearing a timeout is necessary uh, because otherwise it will create in a memory leak. Let's say you navigated from page X to page Y. but the whatever the set timeouts in page x are not cleared then what it does it will continue to take some memory location so let's say after you navigate the timeout is uh, has uh, timeout is been over and some process executing it will still execute in the background which is unintended okay so you have to clear all the timeouts before navigating to the next page okay so this is the purpose the way they ask this question now most of you would be thinking wasn't this is very easy so there is a function called clear all timeout and we can use that to clear all timeouts correct unfortunately there is nothing no function called clear all timeout okay so there is only function called clear timeout so just to start off with i am showing you some uh, information about the set timeout so this is the set timeout the global set timeout method sets a timer which executes a function or a specified piece of code once the timer expires so let's say you set a timer for 1 second after 1 second whatever the function that is inside the set timeout that get executed okay what is the return value the return uh, is a timeout is positive integer value that identifies the that identifies the timer created by the call set timeout this can be passed to clear all timeout to cancel the timeout so you pass that id to a clear all timeout so clear timeout that will that will clear the timeout okay so if you come here to the clear timeout uh, method okay so basically it takes the timeout id to clear so there is nothing called clear all timeout okay for your reference i'm just searching and showing okay there is nothing called clear all timeout so you have to write a clear all timeout on your own now so before we start coding uh, in fact i have already tried writing this code and come here facebook questions are not so easy so that i can take it uh, right away and code okay i have prepared and come so how should be your thought process okay so to clear all the timeouts whatever it is first you should get hold of timeouts hold of set timeouts that have been created correct so one easiest way that comes to everyone's mind is so uh, there will be different timeouts get a different function So there has to be one global variable which will keep track of all the timeouts timers that are being created and whenever you are leaving a page in react you have something called componented unmount or if you are using hooks there is a return that you can write to whenever page is unmounted in angular also you have called ng on destroy so there are functions life cycle method that get triggered on whenever you are leaving a page at from that point you can uh, get all the ids you will be pushing into an array and whenever you are leaving the page you will uh, call that array you will run the loop to the length of that array and clear all the timeouts okay this is should be one acceptable solution provided interviewer is fine uh, giving you some extra space basically whenever you have to push uh, array values uh, set timeouts into array it will take some extra space let's start with this solution first okay so what we are doing is we are creating one array called timer array okay so i have created one timer here okay now what i'll do i am creating const timer1 is equal to set timeout okay so here set timeout what i am doing here is i am setting a timeout for 1 second okay then i am creating a log inside timer1 okay then what i am doing i am pushing timer1 dot sorry timer array dot push timer 
one. Okay. So as you know, this will be a numerical number that is written by the uh, uh, set timeout function. Okay. So we are pushing that into the timer array. Same we will do for the second time. Okay. So inside timer two, the variable name is also timer two, and you are pushing timer two. So now why I created var and not const uh, just with the focus that it is something that is going to be uh, accessed throughout the block. You can you can use a const also because you're not changing a reference. You're just pushing the values into it. But I have preferred var as it's a uh, global or a function scope. Okay. So now technically how in real time this happens is let's say this block is in one function. This block in some another function. In that case, you can just create and push it into the global variable, the instance of set timeout. Now first let me execute it before I do the clear timeout. I'm sorry. So after one second, both the timers have been printed because both have a timeout of one. Now you have to write a functionality to clear all these timeouts. How you do is very straightforward. You can use for loop or while loop. Okay, I'm using while. So while uh, uh, timer array dot length. Okay, what I will do then is clear clear timeout. Okay, timer array dot pop. Okay. Uh, you can use uh, for loop also and iterate till the length. The reason why I'm using while loop is technically there should we will not know the how many timers have been created, correct? So I'm running till the length of the timer and I'm uh, extracting the last element one by one with help of timer dot pop. Okay, so once all two two timers have been extracted, it will be cleared. Okay, just for your reference, I am also showing what will be the value. Okay, uh, timer of Okay, I cannot pop because since I'm popping, difficult to log. Okay, but I'll show you how the values will be here. Timer, timer one is timer one. Similarly, timer two is timer two. Okay, so now let me execute. These two will not execute timer one and timer two. Reason being, uh, JavaScript engine is very fast. So before one second only, this statement will be executed. I think it'll take just milliseconds to uh, for these things to scan and uh, it come to the while loop and it will clear all the timers very quickly. Okay, so timer one was two, timer two is six. So number numerical number that is allocated to each of it and the clear timeout cleared the timeouts. All the timeouts that created in a page got cleared. Okay, this is one approach. So this some interviewer will be uh, accepting this, but uh, generally uh, companies like Facebook would look for a little optimal approach because this is something a mid-level engineer can come up with. Most engineers can come up with. Is there any optimal solution than doing this? The reason is, let's say you have one container component and a lot of sub components in that. So now different components uh, accessing one variable to push the values and finally clearing it is not something that is scalable going uh, forward. Correct? When the lot of components come, it will be difficult. So there has to be way where you can avoid this. So when you have multiple components or multiple places inside a component using this timeout concept, something should run in your mind. Okay? So many things, multiple contents or multiple components need one common entity. Correct. So easiest way to think of is utility file. You have to create one utility file that will take all the timeouts. Okay. And that should also have a reference of all the timers that have been created. Whenever you call the clear timeout, whatever the functionality we did here, clearing all the timeouts should happen there. Okay. So I'll show you that approach also. And these are the two solutions that I thought of. Second approach according to me is the optimal one, which you should be writing in the interview. This one uh, probably write if any other normal companies are asking, probably you can write this approach, but not for the companies like Mang or Fang. Okay. So solution is quite simple, not so complicated. Const timer. Okay. Probably what we can name timer util. Okay. So inside this, this is an object. Uh, that has a function called uh, first you should have the timer array correct so timer array initialize to empty then you have set timeout okay you have set timeout this is not the set timeout built in so this is the set timeout function that you are adding okay which has an anonymous function so what that does is it will create a timer every time whenever you invoke it okay so set timeout requires two things as you already saw one is a function another one is the delay so this function takes input as two things function and delay okay and here you actually create the javascript set timeout with function comma delay okay don't get confused uh, this is same as this how you create a set timeout correct so where you have a function and you have a timeout number same is actually been copied here rather the function having the function someone is passing it 
so here the function itself is enclosed inside the set timeout uh, in this particular block some caller will be call calling the passing that function okay that is only difference and delay as well okay now what you do is you have to push this id into an array okay so timer array dot push id okay so that it get updated every time whenever you invoking set timeout you should keep adding the new id that is got generated correct now now you have clear timeout okay function here also the same process whatever we did in the last state we can follow that while timer array dot length okay clear timeout okay then timer array dot pop so last value basically you are popping okay so this is now just an object okay unlike uh, in the previous uh, code this is not a function this is just an object we created what you can do is you can export this object so that every function get an access to this now what we have is const now we have to create the first timeout okay how do i do that is timer timer utility okay dot set timeout it needs a function basically correct so i'm passing a function log first timer and it requires a second argument so which is a delay so i'm passing that delay also here okay now if i run this series okay so before i run this series before i run this code so if you are someone who is seriously preparing for javascript driven interviews whether it is react react js react native view any other technologies i've created a beautiful two series one on the most common javascript interview questions how to tackle that another one is the custom implementation okay where most common custom implementation related question how to implement array dot concat on your own how to implement array dot map string dot caret okay so these are the implementation i've created a beautiful series please watch those two series and come to this kind of a series because it'll be slightly advanced if you're preparing for the interview and all companies may not ask such questions okay so cover those two series first then come to this video i'll try to add this to somewhere on the screen i'll in the description section okay Okay. and if you are liking the content whatever i am making on the youtube especially helping you guys to clear the interview please do like my youtube videos do not forget to subscribe to my channel uncommon geeks and share these videos along with your friends so that they also get benefited okay now let me run the code okay so i am running see i have not cleared the timeout intentionally but i am just have created a set timeout so if i run the code only the first timer is being printed okay similarly i can create a second timer okay second time if we want for reference you can return the id also from here i don't see any point so i'm not returning an id okay so i'm running so you get first timer and second timer also now what you would do is you just simply invoke timer utility dot clear timeout okay so this will trigger this method so which will clear all the timeouts let me run this again okay first timer second timer so timer array dot length I shouldn't be calling this dot clear all timeout. I should be just calling the clear timeout. I'll tell you why. So this dot clear timeout will invoke this function only. Then it will be a recursion. So there is no point. You will not go anywhere. So you should actually call the JavaScript clear timeout. To avoid confusion, probably you can set set timeout something a function clear timeout function. Inside this, you can use the actual JavaScript clear timeout and set timeout. Okay. So this will uh, to summarize. So this is a block where you can export this utility method. This is a timer utility is there, right? So you can write an export here, okay? In in React or Angular and any other uh, technology that you are using, and you can use this variable from all the places, no matter from where you are using. Use it from all the places. Let's say one one particular combo container you have inside which you have multiple components, okay? Whether Angular, React, Vue, anywhere. So whenever you are navigating from page X to page Y. what all things you want to unmount okay maybe the header bar remain same but only the middle portion get changed so on destroy of that or component did unmount of that just invoke this function okay so in that cases you it will clear all the timers and go to the next one if particular timeout need not to be clear so that's kind of an uh, what that how we can call this a little advanced kind of an approach where you can have the ids returned from here and you can track the ids so for the clear timeout you can pass the ids what all ids need to be cleared Okay, you can extend this example to have a very profound solution. So this, according to me, is the best solution that one can write for clear all timeout. So have in mind with the, both the solutions. The reason being, sometimes interview will happy with the first one itself, so you don't have to write the second one. In case if he extends, then write the second one also. 
so this is like if you have taken biology in the your say puc or first in the second uh, um, puc okay where you need to know there will be lot of terminology so you shouldn't know just one terminology referring one thing if you know more than one at least one you will remember in the exam similarly this so you should know more than one approaches the interview will be definitely looking for more than one approaches okay so please practice both okay and i'll be adding the solution to my github repository feel free to copy the code from there understand once again um, and probably you can continue coding on your own try to optimize it further as well okay thank you so much for watching my video catch you in the next one if you like in the content that i'm making please do again subscribe to my channel like the video share this videos along with your friends read my medium blogs i'll try to link that also in the description i've written articles like this beautiful articles like this on a weekly basis on a lot of javascript concepts i have good number of followers you to follow on me and add your comments for any article if you see some improvisations can be made okay thank you again catch you in next video